But we start here with a story happening right now in the town of Cheektowaga. The town putting on a demonstration in hopes of finally selling that infamous hovercraft. The $70,000 piece of equipment was originally sold earlier this summer, but the town says something scared off the buyer. Channel 2's Dave McKinley is live out at Stiglmeyer Park for today's demonstration. How's it looking there, Dave? Well, we're in. It's a fine day for flying. Slight breeze out of the south. And here's the item they are trying to pedal. There it is. She purrs like a kitten, Michael. They're getting set to demonstrate ye old town hovercraft. Uh, as you mentioned, the town bought it several years ago. They intended to use it to clear up uh, creeks and streams that are prone to flooding from logs and debris, but DEC regulations got in the way of that. A couple of other attempts to sell it unsuccessful. A uh, number of people here, Bob, uh, show us some, some of the spectators here that are standing around hoping to get a glimpse of the thing flying, which it will be in just a couple of minutes. Uh, Supervisor Diane Benchkowski is here. Uh, she told us, Michael, that it has attracted interest not only in Chictawaga, but from other parts of the country. She mentioned that they got a call from an interested buyer who runs uh, ice fishing expeditions on Lake Champlain, which borders New York State and Vermont. He thought this hovercraft here would be an ideal way to take ice, ice fishermen out into the lake and then bring them back. And they say there's a number of other people who've expressed interest as well. They uh, don't, haven't set a price on it. They're going to uh, demonstrate it, give people literature and information, and then invite them to make sealed bids. That's what I'm uh, uh, told uh, here is the way it's going to work. So obviously it won't be sold today. So we're going to see it fly in a little bit, and we'll have much more for you tonight. The latest on the Chictawaga hovercraft on Channel 2 News at 5 and 6. Mike? Dave, quick question for you. Have we actually seen this thing in action yet? Have you actually seen it move or has it always just been sitting there? You know, they offered to fly it during our live shot here, but I, then I was told it's so loud when they fire it up. It, it's at idols, so it's not that loud. I didn't want to create a situation where you, you couldn't hear me talk. So um, it has been used a few times. They've trained on it. I know the Secret Service used it to sweep uh, tunnels beneath uh, the airport runway when President Obama came. Well, well, here we go, Mike. Why don't you take a look for yourself? It does get a little bit louder here as we watch up. I believe this is the first time we've seen video of it moving. So uh, there it goes out there at Stiglmeyer Park. If you want to go check it out, they'll be looking for those closed bids. Our Dave McKinley uh, reporting live for us today. We'll look for more of Dave's reporting later on today. Well, moving on now.